welcome to my channel over again. I'm sorry it's been a while since I last made a video, but I've been quite busy with like all kinds of musical things. We've been recording with a producer from Nashville and I had a few rehearsals with different constellations of bands and yeah. So anyway, today I would like to share some thoughts on intuition and how I got to use it this summer and how I discovered that or how I am starting to discover that I really need intuition in my life and that I should like trust it more. To begin with I was hitchhiking through Europe this summer. For you who missed that you have my full traveling story up in this corner and uh, yeah I was hitchhiking there and uh, like just trusting people to pick you up in their vehicle uh, could be a bit challenging to many people I think but um, I really started to trust my intuition and like feeling the vibes from people and it all felt good except for one or two times but then my intuition was wrong or it, maybe it's just that I was like talking myself into feeling worried about something I wouldn't have had to feel worried about. But anyway, uh, I got these stones from from a friend of mine. I think they are called moon rocks, these white ones. I have them here and I have one here. And it's supposed to help with, yeah, uh, among other things, but uh, especially intuition. And I said, yeah, well, I'm gonna hitchhike this summer, so I will need like hundreds of them. So I got three, <laughs> which is cool. Uh, and I always carry them on me and with me because it's in my hair and this one is just a nice necklace that I feel like I just wanna wear it. So my first experience of when I should have trusted my intuition but didn't should have been when I first arrived to Italy, uh, to the seed camp or the, the, the parking where all of the rainbow people was uh, gathering before they were gonna go on the long hike uh, up to the mountain or the valley where we stayed uh, and I had had got sent to me the coordinates for the place I thought but apparently it was for the seed camp of the of the um, of the gathering uh, but I didn't know and nobody else knew either so we just a bunch of people started walking <laughs> and we walked for five hours where I think we were nine people with two children uh, and up and down the hills or the mountains in it of Italy, of Tramonte di Sopra, and finally arrived at a cafe or farm, something like that, um, tourist information. And uh, we were like, this ain't right, <laughs> right? And they were like, no, you're gonna go the other way. And I had checked before we left uh, the coordinates on my phone. Uh, and I told the people like we should go here first it's like only two kilometers away and if it's not right then we can go back and go your way but I think we should check this out first <laughs> and when we then came to this place I checked on the coordinates again and on Google Maps and I found out we were like 100-200 meters from uh, from where the coordinates led so me and a girl named Daniela uh, went down the slope <laughs> and uh, came to the seed camp and found out that we had been walking the completely the completely long wrong way for five hours that that day uh, so i should have trusted my intuition uh, and went to the first place uh, where i thought we were going to be because then we would have found out about the real way much sooner uh, but anyway that was my first like intuition and um, yeah like my dad and, and I was uh, fixing fixing up my car uh, the other day and I thought I should have looked in the engine uh, space where the engine is uh, but I didn't and I didn't think of it much more it was just a sudden thought and then it was gone again so the other day the day after when I was home with my boyfriend and we were planning to go shopping uh, so I started the car and we rolled out from the parking and I I drove for like 
100, 200 meters. And then like all of the lights beneath the speed meter and everything started to flash and like blink around. And I was like, oh no, this is the battery. I know it's a battery, battery. Uh, because I had some problems with that earlier this summer uh, with a generator not pulling the hand belt. So earlier this summer I had this accident too, but then I was able to tighten the fan belt. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> this time I dove, I, I was diving down into the engine and like starting to feel where this little screw or bolt was placed, but I couldn't find it. So I was like, okay, this is strange, but I couldn't find anything more that was wrong, except for the fan belt hanging like all loose. So I didn't know for for how long the battery wasn't charged and yeah it's a stupid thing to drain a battery uh, so I was standing there and calling my dad and was like oh my god um, well I should have trusted my intuition on checking the engine uh, before I was standing there <laughs> without without battery but anyway the car got home and it was okay and my dad helped me yesterday or the day before yesterday and it took like five minutes to fix, so it wasn't a problem really, but like intuition, trust it. <laughs> we were in the studio Tuesday to Thursday last week and I was supposed to book out some headphones so that I could have the listening so I could hear the rest of my band and also myself. Yeah, you know, maybe how it works in the studio. studio. Uh, and I booked them or I went in on the page at school and like clicked all of the headphones that were was available and eventually I discovered that uh, all of all of the headphones were booked uh, the Friday from like 8 in the morning so I had to go to school really early uh, but I ended up clicking that I would book pair 8 as it was named and then I had a feeling like should I really book the pair 8? I had a bad feeling about it but I, I was like nah whatever. So I booked them and uh, got them and everything and went into the studio and when we were starting uh, to get our listening good and everything I couldn't hear anything and I was like yeah sorry mine isn't working or is it low from the control room or anything uh, but they had all of the other band members had good, good listening so I was like yeah okay and then uh, sound engineer came came around and he was uh, borrowing his headphones to me and then I heard everything because the headphone plug is like a mini tele I don't know the word for it tele I think and the bigger one is a real tele uh, and you have to plug it in and uh, anyway so there was something wrong with the plug or with the cord to the headphones on the pair that I booked the number eight and I was like, now again, really? Can I learn anytime? <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I'm i planning on trusting my intuition more and trying to go with it. Of course, when you, when you went with your intuition and everything goes right, you cannot know if something would have went wrong if you didn't. But now I had at least three examples of when I didn't trust my intuition and something went wrong or it wasn't bad wrong but it could have been so yeah there are my three examples and uh, I think it's a good thing to just trust your gut gut feeling and intuition because the universe I think wants to lead you the right way but you just have to learn to listen so Thank you so much for watching this time and I will try not to have such a long break before the next video but I won't promise you anything because I have a gig coming up and I'm going tomorrow morning uh, to Kiruna which is like 400 kilometers north of where I live so there might be snow. I might do some vlogger or something and uh, yeah have a beautiful day and...